What's up guys, it's Clown Fighter here. Today I'm just going to be breaking down round number 9 versus Fury vs Usyk. Now, the Walk of Atonement for Tyson Fury. Long story short guys, if you haven't watched my previous videos, definitely check them out. I did a three-part series on the psychological analysis of Tyson Fury and why he would lose this fight. Definitely check those videos out and on top of that guys, I did also pick Usyk to stop Tyson Fury. Now, as we all know, Usyk won through a decision but a lot of people and there's a lot of controversy that Tyson Fury should have been stopped in this round nine so what I'm going to do today guys is I'm going to break down round nine I call the walk of atonement and I'm going to give you my thoughts so let's just get straight into it before I start guys I just want to play something for you that I've played before in my previous videos this is a message that Alex Krosik um, Usyk's manager said to Tyson Fury before the fight so I'm going to play that poem for you now be still said heart and cease repining behind the clouds is the sun still shining thy fate is the common fate of all into each life some rain must fall and some days must be dark and dreary thank you it was a death note poem i've done a video on this as well guys that poem that poem relays a lot on what happened in this fight guys again i i did a full analysis on this before the fight so definitely check my three video part series on my channel of the breakdown psychologically of tyson fury and why he was gonna lose anyways guys as i said Alex Krosik delivered a chilling death note message and it's crazy how this round nine, which I'm going to break down, I'm going to call it the, the walk of atonement for Tyson Fury. Um, this is where Tyson Fury got exposed for who he really is, guys. So, so guys, just a quick brief before I start the round. So what's, what's gone on so far is Usyk won the first couple of rounds, I'd say up to the first three rounds, and then Tyson Fury probably clawed his way for another three rounds. After that, you could say it was, it was neck and neck, but I, I had Usyk winning. But once it got to round nine, it, the tie changed badly for Tyson Fury. I'm talking clear margins for Usyk. So I'm going to break that down, guys, and I'm going to break this round of atonement for Fury and um, basically expose what happened. So... As you see, um, Usyk comes out, guys. He's, he's using his uh, jab to pour Tyson Fury. The whole fight, guys. I want to. I want to. I want to uh, just make a few things clear because I'm going to do a full breakdown on the full fight at some point. As I said, I just don't have time. But I just want to point out. Notice the whole fight. Usyk kept his feet right in front of Tyson Fury. Now, to Usyk did not let Tyson Fury breathe this whole fight. That pressure, that engine, Thomas the Tank Engine style, guys. On um, Tyson Fury started to wear him down. I said this, guys, in my pre-fight prediction. You can check that out. I did pick Usyk to stop him, as I said, but that didn't happen here. I mean, well, it should have been stopped. Uh, Tyson Fury was not able to keep up with that pressure of Usyk, and guys, it got re re and uh, it broke Tyson Fury down. So, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on. So, as I said, this round, just notice how Usyk is constantly on Tyson Fury, peppering him with these body shots, greedy belly, that's what um, Usyk called Tyson Fury, even from round one and two, which I will do a breakdown at another point, um, Usyk says all, the, the most of the fight, Usyk was touching Tyson Fury, touching Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury had a few good rounds, uh, but other than that guys, um, Usyk did not stop that pressure, now Tyson at this point guys, is starting to get tired, this is where Usyk, tell Mr. Tank Engine, that conditioning, that athlete of all days training and all, all days trying to be a constant prof professional starts to come out guys, <clears throat> Tyson Fury um, is trying his best guys to keep up with Alexander Usyk, um, he's using that old, old style, um, that vintage, um, here's my nut, um, Flick the jab style, guys. Move on the feet. But, guys, that style was not enough for Usyk. Um, I, I've said I said in my previous breakdown, as I said, guys, um, I don't believe that Tyson Fury can exist anymore. It's just... It's... Uh, that Tyson Fury has been long and buried. Now, we saw glimpses of it, but I knew... I had a new Tyson Fury would not be able to sustain that throughout the fight. But, anyways, guys, so, as I said... Um, for the start first minute or two of the round, you can see Tyson Fury is very busted up, damaged from the previous round. Um, this is when Usyk was starting to get his momentum. But guys, round nine, the round of atonement. Um, this is the round where Tyson, Fury's, um, where Tyson Fury's life and record turned upside down and it got exposed for what it is. As I said, that poem, guys, that I played, um, it's, it's very fitting for this um, 
So you can see here, right now, Tyson Fury's got that face of concern. He's bleeding profusely and he's got this little so-called little Ukrainian on his fucking tail. Just notice how Ukraine, um, sorry, how Usyk doesn't let Tyson Fury breathe. He just keeps staying on him. This is a high level athlete, someone which Tyson Fury has not faced apart from Vladimir Klitschko 10 years ago. And I wouldn't class Wilder even on this level. This is the best that Tyson Fury's faced. And when he comes up against the best, it was too much for Fury, but... So Usyk's just keeping that pressure on. Tyson Fury is trying to do his best. Now, notice here, guys. Tyson Fury doesn't look too tired, but I but I'm telling you, that wear and tear for the past couple of rounds, it started to wear on Tyson Fury. This pace thing that Usyk's doing to Tyson, just hitting him, getting close with the left rights, the body shots. Guys, he did this for nine rounds non-stop. Now I don't give a fuck who you are, guys. At some point. Um, this is going to wear you out. So Tyson Fury, in my opinion, gets tired at some point in this fight. So it's, you can see it's like a 1 minute 20 to go, guys. Usyk is not letting Tyson Fury off. Remember what Usyk said before this fight, guys? Don't be afraid. I will not leave you alone. Usyk did not stop on Tyson Fury. That Thomas the Tank Engine, um, Thomas the T uh, Tank Engine engine, guys. He only got cranked up. More coal got thrown in the back. And guys, with, with him in the last minute, shit started to change, which I'm going to break it down now. So you can see, guys, Usyk. Tyson Fury was trying to go for some body shots to try and slow Usyk down. But guys, one thing a lot of people are not noticing: Usyk was landing body shots to Tyson Fury, uh, the, the man who has his trousers up to his nipples you talk about Usyk's trousers being high this guy wanted to take the piss he pulled his trousers up to his uh, nipples he, he didn't want anything to show but either way Usyk's been peppering his body as well through the whole fight and guys I believe that engine of Tyson Fury was not able to keep up um, in this round so when there's a minute left guys you can see Tyson Fury is trying to attack but one thing about Fury when he was throwing a lot of his punches they were missing. Um, Usyk was not um, there for the punches to be hit. Now, don't get me wrong. Tyson Fury did land a few good punches in the early rounds. He had a few uppercuts he landed, which were very good. But guys, a lot of Tyson Fury's punches were being missed as well. There was bobbing and weaving to the left and right from Usyk. This was uh, this was seen in the whole fight, which I will cover later on um, in, my, in my other breakdown. But guys, for round nine, um, guys, with their, when there was like around about... 55 seconds you can see what's happening here guys um Usyk starts to apply the Thomas the Tank Engine pressure and he, he starts to crank it up here. Now Tyson Fury is actually getting tired. He's bleeding profusely and he starts making mistakes now. Those shots are going to start getting through for Usyk now. So Tyson Fury is bleeding. He needs he needs space, guys. Usyk's not giving him any space. Just look at his face. All that atonement for his sins, guys, is going to have to be paid in full in this round, guys. All the things he said, sausage, I'm the king of Great Britain. You're a gappy little middleweight, guys. All this, he was starting to flash be between his eyes. All the people he's played psychological tricks on over the years. Klitsch, Cole, Wilder. Guys, it was all going to flash before Tyson Fury's life right now, guys. Usyk is coming for Tyson Fury. Derek Chisora style. Damn I'm man. coming for you. Damn. This Damn. is Usyk I vintage. Tyson Fury is still crying. Damn. But guys, it's, it's, it's not enough. It's, you've got a possessed man in front of you and he's just starting to gain. Tyson Fury's eye is caught. Tyson Fury is in a mode now. He's thinking, what the fuck is in front of me? What the fuck is this? Usyk is in a possessed mode. Tyson Fury's punches were not doing anything. Watch this punch right now, guys. Usyk just lands that left hook over the top, guys. Watch Fury's face. It's just been not crackered. This hurts Tyson Fury. Look at his face, guys. Look at his face. He's he's gone. He's out of it. This 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 punch here turned Tyson Fury into a zombie. Tyson Fury was in zombie mode. You can see right now, guys. Usyk's laid him out on the ropes, and Usyk just goes goes to work. Look at that fear in Tyson Fury's face. I know this video is not too clear, guys. It's the best footage I got. But guys, Tyson Fury had fear in his face. He thought it was gonna be over. Just look at the nutcracker, guys. Usyk was landing on Tyson Fury. And this is going to be the biggest beatdown you're going to see, guys. You're going to see pinball here, guys. You're going to see DVD player stuff. So, boom. Tyson Fury is so out of it, guys. Usyk's not leaving him alone. Boom. Another left hand. Look at Tyson Fury's face, guys. Look at the face. He's just trying to keep his balance right now, guys. Every shot that comes, he can't, he doesn't have his legs under him. Usyk's still on him, guys. Usyk's not letting this guy breathe. Chases him, chases him. Tyson Fury is doing the skanky, skanky leg walk. 
Usyk draws another punch, guys, because he's not going to let him leave him alone. Tyson Fury is out of it, guys. His eyes are shutting. He's turning into zombie right now, guys. He's turning into creatures from horror movies. His face is deforming, guys, as we speak. This is the this is the walk of shame and the round of atonement. This is the walk of atonement for Tyson Fury. So again, Usyk still drawing punches. Now, guys, I want I want to show you something. This is one of Usyk's trainers. Just look how calm his trainer is in the corner, guys. Just calm as a just calm guys you know why guys because they knew this was going to happen guys this was a poem given to tyson fury and uh, before the fight no just watch this guy guys he's not going to make any reaction but keep an eye on the punches from coming from music as well tyson fury's trying his best to um weave bob and weave but that that one just missed tyson fury's face so he got away with it but guys he's still out of it this one gets tyson fury that one gets tyson fury guys just notice, look at the corner, guys. Just smiling, admiring work, guys. Just admiring his Thomas the Tank Engine, guys. He's expecting this. There's no, there's no shouting, take him out. No, 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 no. They were, they knew what they were gonna do, guys. This is called the Round of Atonement, or um, in other, in other words, this is called the, um, this is called the Rainy Day for Tyson Fury. Be still, sad heart, and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the stall. Is the sun still shining? The fate is the common fate of all. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life some rain must fall. Some days must be dark and dreary. Look at Tyson, guys. Just look at him, guys. Right hand comes in. He's out of it, guys. Drops on the ropes, guys. He's out. He's out. Usyk's not leaving him alone, guys. Usyk still lands another punch. And, guys, right now, Tyson Fury is dropped. He got saved by the turnbuckle. The turnbuckle saves Tyson Fury, guys. Saves him from being crucified. And just notice how Usyk could have crucified him if he wanted to. If he, want, if he wanted to land that hammer blow, Usyk could have killed him. But Usyk saved his life. At the same time, the referee got involved. Usyk didn't let that punch land. Usyk knew Tyson Fury was done. I think Usyk thought Tyson Fury was about, the fight was going to get stopped. But he didn't stop it. He told him to go back in the corner and he started counting, guys. Usyk just waited and now look at this. This is Tyson Fury's gasp for air. I made a video before this fight, guys, in the psychological analysis. Tyson Fury was going to be breathing heavily. And, guys, he, this this is everything for Tyson Fury. But he, he the referee gave... Look, look at that same guy, just calm in the corner. The referee gave Tyson Fury so much time here, guys, to recover. And the bell goes, guys. And uh, look at Usyk just staring at his soul. Saying, mate, I could have crucified you. I could have crucified you. Um, I let you survive that. Well, it's not even Usyk he let him survive that. Usyk just stopped because the referee came involved. But, you know, some fighters, they would have put the nail on the coffin there. Usyk ain't that dirty type of fighter, guys. He's a clean-hearted fighter. Um, he could have done that. But, guys, I think God saved Tyson Fury from crucifixion. And uh, you can see Tyson doesn't know where he's at. He's just looking... Guys, this is the rainy day for Tyson Fury. Um, in my in my opinion, Tyson Fury should have been stopped right there, guys. They, this fight should have been over. Um, this, this fight should not have continued. So let's have a look at it, guys. You can see here, guys, that Tyson Fury is trying to do a jab. Jab. Um, and then it, it gets into close quarters, guys. Tyson Fury tries to do one of his little peppering outbursts. But guys, at this point, the engine of Tyson Fury had run dry. Watch the right hand come in. And the left hand, guys, it was a punch from hell. Tyson Fury's face right now, guys, goes into a different world, guys. He turns into a zombie. Look, he was about to drop there. That was a knockout punch, guys. He can't even hold his weight up. He used the rope, guys. He just about gets his legs under him. He puts his guard up, and then the left comes in again. Two, three shots on the nutcracker. He, he's out of it, guys. I don't know how he's standing up. And another one, guys. This is a DVD replay now of a pinball machine, guys. You know those games you play in the back in the day, guys. This is a pinball machine breakdown. The left hook comes in. Tyson Fury is doing his walk of atonement all around the ring, guys. This is Tyson Fury's walk of shame. This is all the things that Tyson Fury said about all his opponents, all that cherry picking and all that running. This is that karma catching up to him. Run, rabbit, run, run, rabbit, run, rabbit. It was actually Tyson Fury who was running and doing the skanky dance, guys. Another right hand. This is the one that nearly killed Tyson Fury. Still manages to just stay on the ropes. And guys, look at this crucifixion, guys. Left hook. Tyson Fury's out. Guys, he's out. He's out. Look at the fear in the guy's face. 
And if Usyk wanted to put the nail on the coffin, he could do it. Soon as he's about to do it, the referee comes running to save him. To save him. Pushes him off. The count hasn't even started, guys. The count should have started. He gives him too much time. <clears throat> and guys, look at the look on Tyson Fury's face. Right at the end, guys. Look at the fear in Tyson Fury's face, guys. Just look at that fear. It's the same sort of fear that Deontay Wilder had when he, he did his battering on Deontay Wilder. It's a look of pure fear in heart, guys. This is a man staring down at your soul type type of fear. Look at that face there, guys. This is all, guys, the, the head snaps back. You cannot hide stuff. This is the demon in Usyk that's coming. I'm going to read the story for you one more time, guys, because it, it's fitting here. The rainy day. Be still, sad heart, and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life some rain must fall. Some days must be dark and dreary. Look at that, guys. Just look at this. Look at the fear on his face, guys. Look at that, guys. Now, I'm going to put a photo next to it. He did the same thing to Wilder, guys. Now, again, this psychological warfare that Tyson Fury has done to people over the years. At some point, guys, karma is a bitch. If your intentions are not good for anyone, guys, there's no good in that. I'm not saying Wilder's a good person either, but it was just hate. Both people are hating each other. Now, Tyson Fury destroyed, like, does psychological games to people. At some point, you're going to come up against a righteous person like Usyk, who that shit's not going to work against. And then all that can come out of your face is pure fear, guys. This is the fear in heart. Remember, guys, before this fight, he was told Usyk was going to eat Tyson Fury's heart. The manager, Alex Krusik, said another thing. I'll put the video up. We're going to eat Tyson Fury's heart. He will destroy his confidence. He will eat his heart. He will eat his consciousness. He will eat his soul. But first we attacked his body. Then we attacked his uh, spirit. Then we broke his mind down. Then we, then we broke his um, soul down. Then we, he's going to eat his heart. And then at the end of it, his manager said, He's going to knock Tyson Fury out. And guys, that's literally what happened. At this point, the fight should have been stopped. It's over, guys. But the referee saved Tyson Fury. So that my prediction was nine. Um, Usyk was, so my prediction was Usyk was going to finish Tyson Fury. And in my opinion, he did finish him. But again, it's just due to referee politics that it didn't happen. Oh, well, he still won the fight. But look at the fear on this guy's face, guys. Look at the fear. He was out of it, guys. He was... He was look. Tyson Fury is looking for the ref to save him. Tyson Fury wants that ref to jump in and save him and stop the fight. He's not disputing anything. What the referee does is push Usyk back rather than pushing Fury. If Usyk landed one more punch, it could have been a knockout right there. Usyk's looking towards the referee, saying, "Are you stopping it or what?" So, guys, this is uh, my opinion. That was um, that was a finish, guys. Now. I'm he got saved by the referee. The referee was supposed to jump in here and wave his fucking hands. And I'm gonna say this I'm gonna say the poem. Tyson Fury's heart got eaten by Usyk. And the Tyson Fury showed he didn't have it in him. He actually turned into Wilder. His face, the fear on Tyson Fury's face is crazy, guys. Just look at the fear on this guy's face. He got turned into Deontay Wilder. <clears throat> look at this guys. The the brains got the got punched out of him, guys. And guys, he turns into the most fearful man while these punches are coming in, guys. <clears throat> the face of this guy, guys. The look of concern got shown. All this stuff before the press conference, he couldn't look Usyk in the eyes. Guys, he, he had no option here. He was in fear of his life. This is a man that was fearing his life at this point. He looked over to the middleweight Ukrainian. A God-fearing man, same as you, but probably a little bit more righteous and the walk of shame Tyson Fury had to do to get thrown in that corner the, the demon out of Tyson Fury got shown the real Tyson Fury face gets exposed right there guys Usyk knows it's over Usyk's a, a, a compassionate man if Usyk wanted to land a hammer blow right now he could have killed Tyson Fury Tyson Fury would have got killed similar to that death note that they gave to Tyson Fury. I said to you guys before this fight, 
Usyk is on a different level psychologically to Tyson Fury. Psy Tyson Fury relies on psychology to win his fights. He got psychologically outclassed and then guys, the fight was going to end very badly. Remember, he psychologically outdid Wilder. The fight ended badly for Wilder. But guys, when it gets when he got psychologically outclassed, remember the guy couldn't even look at him in the weigh-ins. Throughout the fight, the amount, the, the amount of faces he made, guys, check my videos out. I've got a three-part series, guys. You will enjoy it, how they psychologically killed Tyson Fury this is this was about skills as well don't get me wrong Tyson Fury has skills but guys most fights come down to the psychology and mindset of fighters as well and Tyson Fury's soul got taken his heart got eaten exactly how his manager said Usyk took a bite out of his heart but he, he could have put the nail on the coffin right now Tyson Fury could have got crucified you know how you got crucified, like on the cross, people get crucified. Tyson Fury is in the crucifixion position, staring up. But Usyk's compassionate. Oh, God saved Tyson Fury. One of the prayers might have saved him. Because, guys, if a hammer blow came in right now, Tyson Fury would be on the floor flat out. And I'm telling you, he wouldn't be getting up, guys. Not after this. Just notice that same guy I've told you guys who's so calm and collected just watching Usyk. They knew what was going to happen. All Usyk's, Tyson Fury is sitting in the team of Usyk's corner. Just notice that how Usyk's team psychologically killed Tyson Fury and his entire team. Now it's Tyson Fury sitting in Usyk's corner about to die and, and asking for a hug from the referee. He's pouring the referee. He's putting his nut towards that, uh, the, the referee. That same nut that his dad, John Fury, used to uh, headbutt a Ukrainian. He's actually putting his head towards the referee now. But there's no one to not. He's asking to be saved. And guys, where the hell did John Fury go? I'm going to make another video on that. John Fury disappeared, guys, like a ghost after this fight. I've never heard from him again. I don't think anyone will hear from John Fury ever again. But Tyson Fury is looking to be saved. And Usyk, the compassionate man, could have let a left hand go. But he stopped it. He could have got crucified on the cross right there. Right there. He got put into the corner, guys. And it was pure fear. This is like an exorcism. This is a crucifixion. This is that poem, guys. This is eating his heart. And guys, the best poem for this, again, it's the rainy day for Tyson Fury. Be still, sad heart, and cease repining. That sad heart that Ty Usyk's going to eat with his mouth. Be still, sad heart, and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life, some rain must fall. And some days must be dark and dreary. That was Tyson Fury's Walk of Atonement, guys. That's just going to be my video for today. Usyk lived out the poem, the death note that I made a video about, guys. Make sure you check it out. Usyk lives out the death note and the death note becomes a reality. Tyson Fury just about escaped the jaws of death. But in my opinion, Ty Usyk stopped Tyson Fury in this fight. Tyson Fury basically got TKO'd, guys, in this fight. Um, that's going to be my uh, video on it, guys. 